Thank you, Scott. My name's Charlie Tomlinson. I got a big problem. I wanted to do Ignite 2 for the City Council and pick out how am I going to do train porn and sex and social media and <laughs> explain that to them. I'm here to talk to you tonight about economic gardening and the creative class. And my message today, my takeaway is that place matters in both of these issues. So first we have to talk about the three characters in this drama. First, the creative. It's an entrepreneur. It's a business owner. The second is an wizard, which is essentially a business analyst. And the third is the garden, which is a place called Corvallis. And these three people are powered by orange. This is my metaphor slide. Typically, we're talking about a horticultural garden here. But this is really a shout out to Larry Plotkin for bringing home $125,000 from Bend. What is economic gardening? It is a place based that strengthens local businesses in our midst. It is a retention strategy that tends our own and it trades either, it assists either the traded sector or uh, retail. It provides vital market information. You just heard in the last slide that vital market information is one of the most important assets to get to Olympic gold, either customer or competitive intelligence. How do we do it? Through databases, through Dun & Bradstreet uh, Marketplace Gold, through Esri's Business Online. There are a couple other the others there. These databases allow us to understand who our customers are and who our competitors are. How does it work? The creative comes to the wizard. The wizard has a business issue, performs alchemy. What is that alchemy? That is essentially queries against those databases to extract information, give that information back to the creative and let them act on it or not. Who can deliver it? Local government can deliver it. Corvallis Benton Chamber Coalition can deliver it. The cost to deliver it is a business analyst and licenses to these databases. Thank you. This then ends up being a business well-gardened opportunity where we can take issues and fix them through a economic gardening solution. The creative, though, has a life. Some of you may not believe that, but you really do. And what matters to creatives, according to this igniter and Richard Florida? Place. Place matters. Florida talks about clustering of people. We're in the Cascadia region, if you read his book. Portland uses this in their prosperity guide. They say, place is critical. We are the place. We've got technology, talent, and tolerance. The role of place, creatives are mobile. They will move around and they will cluster where the brains are. And when they do that, they create super cities. Corvallis is one of them. I really recommend Greenlight Greater Portland. What matters to a creative? Community entrepreneurial spirit, and amenities in the community, a great education system, cultural venues, and natural beauty. Sounds like a Corvallis. And it is because we rank 15th in Florida's creative index because we've got technology, talent, and tolerance, and we've got just about every other award in the known universe as a place to live. I want to just say quickly, t tolerance is really important. You saw some parts of that. Florida also maps psychology of place. We are open to experience people in the Northwest. The neurotic folks are in Manhattan. <laughs> Trust me. That clustering, and pay attention here, that clustering of open to experience people is vital as an indicator of regional innovation and economic growth. And that interplay between place psychology and the place is important. I want to say something about place. These are four things that we could be doing, hypothetically, to try to attract, retain, and convince creatives to stay here. These are the kinds of things that they want. What does it mean for our leaders? Our leaders must be aware of how a place's psychology matters in economic development and how to attract creative people. That's sometimes more difficult to do than not. I want to share this last slide with you. A solar panel manufacturer from Europe looked around Corvallis and said, you know, we like it here. It reminds us of home. 
Place matters. Be deliberate about its creation. I want to thank the city of Littleton and Beaverton and Green Lake Greater Portland. I want to thank Richard Florida for some of his work. And then Thomas Friedman, as always, for fear and reality as to what's really happening in the world. Thank you very much.